I think, guys, this AK 47U Bass class build will get me banned. If you also think so, or if you're interested in what's going to happen with this build, just watch the video. Ivan the German is back, ladies and gentlemen, and today I have another best class setup video for you, starting with the AK 47U, my most favorite gun right now. It's so strong, it's simple to play, and it's like a basic, aggressive, pushing playstyle, and you can bring down those head glitches quite easily. How? Let's jump into the class setup. So let's start with the basic gun build and I'm going to show you my gunfighter version first for the AK-47U. Little fun fact, you're basically turning your weapon into a VSS, which is sadly not into the game, but let's go and make one. Uh, as you can see, I got the suppressor mag stock, it's looking familiar to the VSS and I will show you the details and give you a reasons why I choose this for the optic. In my opinion, the microflex, it's clean, it's wide and you can go wrong with it, it's nice, I like that very much, you can choose your radicals like as you want. Uh, for the muscle I choose the sound suppressor, uh, in my opinion it's not worth that little more recoil control, but you're losing 25% effective range, it's not worth in my opinion, just take the normal sound suppressor if you like to be silent and quiet as I do for the barrel, and that's a big point here, I'm using the task force barrel Y, you have more damage, more effective range and more bullet velocity the best points in here. Um, for the negative parts, I will give you my reason why it's not that necessary. Soon, you can choose the Liberator for the more bullet velocity, one of the most important gun stats in the game. It's very underrated. I will show you a video into the info cards on top why this is so important. Or you can go for the reinforced barrel because you have the effective range, bullet velocity and not so many negative points. Or as I said, the Liberator but you not get any effective range. But if you choose the task force barrel, this improves the AK a lot, a lot, guys. But let's continue. For my body part, I am going to use the flashlight because the flashlight is OP, man. It's like a kind of wall hack and you see a lot. Even if you play on the cartel map, you can see through the grass, you can see through some gaps, you will see where your enemy is and you can just, it's kind of wall hack man, it's very very underrated in my opinion, go for it, because the hip fire is going to go down with your, some of your attachments, that's why I'm using the flashlight, you can you can still hip fire very well with the AK, but I would take the flashlight as often as I can. So the under barrel, I'm going for the Spesna's grip because it's improving your recoil pretty well. You can go for the Spesna speed grip if you want to be a little faster, but in my opinion, it's not necessary for the magazine. And that's a very important point is the 50 round magazine with more starting ammunition. Yes, you have minus 25% ADS. It's not so important because you have so many AD ADS and you get more ammunition and you can run around and you have a lot starting ammunition and you are downsiding the negative part from your barrel a little bit because you have so much starting ammunition. Of course I'm playing scavenger and I get my ammunition as well. For the grip, for the handle, I'm using the GRU elastic wrap because you get a lot of ADS, flinch resistance and good stuff. It's very good stuff. Um, you can choose those other two parts as well because you are basically not losing so much, right? It's like, okay, minus 12% sprint time or minus 10% fire time, sprint to fire time. But with the Geo Elastic Rep, you have a lot of plus ADS and a lot of flinch resistance. And that's important because shooting qu quicker with your ADS brings your damage way faster to your enemy. And flinch resistance is like you're staying on target and you can headshot those hack glitches very well. I will show you that in the video and gameplay video after all. For the stock, it's also a big point here. I'm using the skeletal stock because fire accuracy is not necessary for me because I'm shooting ADS a lot and very precisely and if I'm in AD, uh, if I'm in hip fire range, I will hip fire him um, as well. Of course, you can go for the Spetsnaz or for no stock. It's like you have more sprint to fire or you choose one of those 
it depends on your playstyle, but I like the skeletal stock. That's the basic build, and with this build you have a high movability, quick ADS, a lot of ammo, and you can fire a lot. I will show you why firing a lot is important, because most of the guys, and I will show you that as I said in my how to get better in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War video, you are shooting and just hold your fire on the same point. Most of those guys are repeaking the same pos uh, position, and you can just fire those guys. Um, I'm using Engineer, Scavenger and Ninja of course because I don't know why so many players are not playing with Ninja. The steps in this game are so loud. On PC almost everyone can hear you across everything. That's why Ninja is so important. As same as the suppressor, um, people are reacting to your shots. Right. For the first perk you can choose Engineer Paranoia, Flag Jacket, Tactical Mask. All of those are great but I like to destroy the enemy's info but Flag Jacket is not bad as well like tactical mass and paranoia as i said it's hard to to make a good decision just it depends on your playstyle. and the second build is my perk greed build it's a little bit different because i just have five slots you don't need a optic with the ak because the stock side is very nice you can you can play with it very well for the muscle as i said i'm using a suppressor because i like to be hidden kind of ninja style playstyle fast moving around and that's that's a good way to go. For the barrel I'm using the 10.3 task force barrel but it de really depends on your playstyle. Try the 10.3 task force barrel, give it a chance, it's very changing the wall AK. For the grip it's the same thing as for the handle and for the stock. Of course you can change the stock with the magazine if you want because you're losing uh, some starter ammunition or you can go for this for the flashlight. Uh, dep really depends on how you like to play. I am going to change it because I like the flashlight. Why? I'm showing you a perk greed version because a lot of guys out there enjoy perk greed and this ghost perk is way 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 too important nowadays because nearly everyone is getting a goddamn drone. For me ninja is even more important because I like to run around but ghost uh, it's a hard decision every time and try that out with perk greed if you like to play perk greed. Paranoia can be changed by a flag jacket to be even more overpowered. And this last, the perk Q, I think scavenger is the most important one. The other thing depends on your playstyle. And stim shot, in my opinion, way, way, way too, too underrated. You need your stim shot because of like dodging some enemies, which is able with this setup. Dodge them, stim shot, and go back into fight. It's like it helps you a lot. But let's jump into actual gameplay with the AK. 47U. In my opinion, the AK-47U way too underrated. It was a strong gun in the beta. Most of the big YouTubers achieved their first nuke with them. I achieved my 25 kill streak with it, or it was 28, I don't know. And I ran out of time in a team deathmatch. And I would say, try the AK-47U. It's a really balanced, based out weapon, which can be pretty powerful. In my opinion, the best SMG in the game. It has decent fire rate, very good effective range, you are fast with it and in my opinion it has nearly no downside. It's it's very very based in, in everything and you can attach your playstyle with your attachments into this gun. That's why I would recommend playing it, enjoy the AK-47U and try things around. This is my personal preference and it brings me my my old Modern Warfare 2 UMP feeling back because I can run around, you can sprint a lot and you can down enemies so well with nearly low recoil. It's like the normal AK with a little less damage and higher mobility. That's why I S or that's what a SMG should be. Give it a try guys. It's a little bit under the radar in my opinion. It's very strong and you have a lot of benefits from it. It's very important for the AK that you are aiming a lot because we are reducing our hip fire, but you can shoot those guys in the head, which are always in the head glitch. And that's why aim a lot, take those guys out from the head glitch, and this 
build even if I know my gameplay and if I look back those videos it looks like I'm hacking. I know where those guys are, you can pre-fire them and those guys are with their burst, AUG, M16 or whatever, snipers always in those headless, headless positions and just give them and send them back to hell with your AK build. In my opinion this gun actually is my personal best gun or most liked gun in the game. I like that a lot. It's very fun to play and it looks so ridiculous sometimes because if you have this best play situation those opponents and even your own players do not see your flashlight benefit it's like you're wall hacking basically and if you're pre-aiming all those corners it's very impressive and it looks so ridiculous how good this gun is even with the 50 round speed mech your ads is pretty well and give it a try guys Give it a try and write into the comment please how you liked this AK build. And in my opinion even the suppressor is not that bad. You're not losing that much effect effective range with your decent bullet velocity from your barrels. You can like prevent those negative points. I highly like this gun and I do not have the gold it, it golden yet because of those ridiculous point blank situations. Those 75 point blanks with SMGs is way way too ridiculous. I don't know why this is in game. It's not my playstyle and you have to really really point blank it. I will give you a video in the info card too about get gold camo fast but it's ridiculous how close you have to be for your point blanks and it brings you all very often into very bad situations because you have to force your point blank kills if you want to have your gold camo fast. But I'm on it. I'm working on it because I like to have this AK gold or get my SMGs gold because I'm most of the times a SMG player and in my opinion the SMGs are pretty good it's still in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, they are nice to play and I want to make a lot of videos for you guys. That's very important, that's why I do not have gold or diamond camos yet because I test a lot of those stuff for you to make detailed guys or give you some good hints and that's why I'm going to make a get better or biggest mistake videos because I'm in my opinion a lot of guys are playing or not f because in my opinion a lot of those guys don't know it better and I want to help you because we can get better together and that's why in my opinion uh, we can help each other and I will give you some tips for getting better or understand the game a little bit better in the right way or in the actual situation without playing OP or ridiculous stuff. I think the AK is balanced and that's why you should try it. If you like the video, like to show the world we German can at least win something and if it's your like it would be nice to show that the world guys. And if you enjoyed the video of course I have another video for you right now. See you next time. Bye.